all the phases of our music that we did together. I do have tapes and CDs available for sale, and, and they're also for sale up at Bob's Photo, my brother. So, um, we, again, I want to thank the committee for having us here, and, and I know that Dad had many good memories of doing the Governor's Mansion, the Ice Cream Social, so thank you again. Thank you, Julie. One thing she hasn't done is that beautiful voice. Isn't that something, huh? Really, really. It just brings back so many great memories of uh, you and Bob. How many dances would you have done over the years? 1,322? <laughs> I don't have any idea. But nevertheless, they, uh, they traveled, and I used to marvel at Bob all the time. I says, how can you possibly drive at night, get through with a dance job at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, and then get home at 4, you know, to 4 o'clock, right? Well, I, I just have to tell the story. When, when we're talking about it and reminiscing about Dad, you know, we just kind of shake our head and go, we really were crazy, weren't we? You know, we, one weekend we did, we, we played a job in Dickinson, a dance job, Saturday night in Dickinson, got up Sunday morning, or no, on a Friday night. Friday night did a wedding in Dickinson, got up Saturday, drove to Beach because we were doing a polka mass there in Beach on Saturday afternoon. Left there, drove up to Minot, if you can imagine, drove up to Minot, did a dance job Saturday night, and Sunday morning we were in Strasbourg for a polka mass. <laughs> now I'll tell you what, that guy, and she too, not only crazy, but they loved music. And I'll tell you another story. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I think uh, some of you were earlier today. Uh, I was Lutheran, so we, we just couldn't. In fact, I had just about lost vision on my right eye because once I looked at a Catholic girl. <laughs> it was that serious in our Protestant community. We just simply couldn't. Couldn't. Uh, you know, Catholics were fine as business partners, but they were certainly not fine in the religious sound realm. Wasn't that something that was crazy? But nevertheless, first time I heard of uh, the polka mass was at Paulina's funeral. And uh, we went there, and I kept on poking my wife, and they were playing all these polka songs at the funeral. And I thought, my gosh, I'll tell you what, these people have really gone crazy at this church. And my first thought was is they had made a mistake and that they were playing this polka music and forgot to turn it off. <laughs> that was my first thought of all of those kinds of things. So what a joy that uh, both of them have brought to so many and to so many wonderful people. And for me, it's simply an honor just to take a few minutes to say thank you, Julie, and thank you, Bob, in heaven for all the great things you've done for us throughout the whole community and especially here at this mansion. Thank you. 